Oh wait, no. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry Ann Shimatero and this is Rowena Francis. Lately, I've just been thinking a lot about the atmosphere that's going on in our house and I really want to have an atmosphere that reflects God. I just really want it to be a peaceful atmosphere and just one that is a good setting for our kids to be able to start their day and go off to school, for Brian and I to start our day, go off to work and stuff like that. I know that the first thing that I need to do is figure out my mornings because that's what sets the stage for the whole day. So I've tried to become a morning person. There was a time in my life where I was a morning person, but it hasn't been recently. I am trying to get back into the habit of waking up between five and six every morning. Today I'm gonna to share with you things that help me become a morning person. And if you wanna know what our morning routine is and how we have perfected that, then just leave me a comment below and I will make another video like that. Oh, with that, let's jump into the video. First things first, I know that if I don't get a good night's sleep the night before, there is no way I'm going to want to open my eyes in the morning and crawl out of bed at five o'clock. I need to do what I need to do in order to have a good sleep. I know what it takes to have a good sleep, like for me to have a good sleep. It might not be the same thing that you need to have a good sleep, but for me, there are certain things that need to happen in order for me to rest well. The first thing is that I need to be prepared and have my kitchen, my house in order and clean. I don't want dirty dishes laying around. I don't want clutter on the counters in the kitchen. I just like to wake up to a fresh clean slate which just starts things off peacefully. I also like to have a clean bedroom. I don't want to have clothes on the floor, things all over the dresser, which does happen quite a bit, but I like to clean that all up and make sure that everything is all taken care of and in order so that the atmosphere in the bedroom will allow for a good restful sleep. You guys know I wear makeup pretty well every day. Before I go to bed, I like to just wash it all off, just have, I think I'm saying clean slate a lot, but I like a clean kitchen, a clean bedroom, and a clean face. I'll just wash my face and put a nice moisturizer on. Lately, this is my moisturizer that I've been using. It's like coconut water and hyaluronic acid. I love it. It's almost kind of a dupe for Tatcha water cream. And then I will put on some essential oils. I like to use peace oil. I just put it behind my ears I put it you know along my collarbone here it works within like 15 minutes and then I also use bite agave lavender lip mask I can't stand the feeling of cracked dry lips when I go to sleep put it on before I go to bed in the morning my lips feel amazing so once I do all that then I go to bed and I'm one of those people where I can just literally hit the pillow and I'm asleep so Sorry if you're not, but I am and it's great. Let's fast forward to the morning. I'm kind of particular about my alarm clock. I cannot stand beeping. When I was a teenager, I used to have the CD player alarm clock. The music would gradually come on and then it would play the whole CD. I always knew when the CD was over, then that was time for me to get up. So I made sure I set my alarm with enough time for me to listen to the whole CD. Once I got married, that was no longer an option. So I had to figure out different things. I don't really like my phone alarm clock, but I do set it. I I have three alarms that I set. 5.30, the second one goes off at six, and the third one goes off at 6.30. That is just in case I sleep through the first alarm, and then if I sleep through the second alarm, then at least I know that I have the third one to fall back on. Actually, my favorite alarm can help you with jet lag. The Philips Sunrise, I think it's called the Sunrise Alarm Clock. Anyways, I'll link it below. It's so natural. I enjoy waking up to the sunrise. I like having the windows open. I like having the blinds open, and just naturally waking up with the sunrise. You can set it to however bright you want it on a scale of one to 10, and it'll just gradually over the course of a half an hour get to however bright you put it, except I haven't been waking up to that one lately. Lately, I've been waking up to nothing. It's 4.30 and I'm awake. So once I wake up in the morning, I don't know, I also do need a couple moments for my brain to just kind of like, Kick in. I will get up, put on the kettle, I'll turn on my big blue speaker, and I will put my worship set list on. I don't know, there's just something about having a peaceful atmosphere in the morning when you put worship music on, it just really sets the atmosphere. That kind of gives the kids a forewarning that I'm going to be waking them up soon. I will make myself a tea, sit down at the kitchen table, I'll light my candle, have my worship music going, open up my Bible and my journal, and I just start diving into my devotions. I really encourage 
encourage having a plan for what you're gonna do for devotions because when you're super tired and it's first thing in the morning, the last thing that really is on your mind is where should I read today? What should I what should I read about? What should I study? And so if you have a plan, it works so much better and so much easier. And so what I kind of like to do at this point before like I really get into things is I get onto the Bible app and I have probably a good 10 plans that I go through at any given time and I'll pick and choose. I probably won't go through all of them each day and then I will just journal that devotion. Usually I take about a half an hour for that and then I will start making breakfast for the kids because I have learned that if there's food involved, especially if there are chocolate chips involved, the kids will get out of bed really quick and they will be chipper and in a good mood. That's a small sacrifice for me to make. I will make chocolate chip waffles to ensure a good morning. Usually by this point, the kids come to the table and we start our morning routine. So I'm gonna kind of cut this video here, but the things that help me, obviously, caffeine, I need my tea. I like to light my candle, here's my journal. I really do like journaling. It helps me remember what I'm learning. It also helps me to focus on what I'm learning, especially when I'm tired. These are ways that I can become a morning person. I am trying really hard to really make this a habit. No matter what I feel like in the morning, pray for me. All right, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because you will be notified every time I upload new content. With that, we will see you soon. One day. <laughs> Once I've done that.